Hey there, my beautiful people. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Le'Veon and I enjoy posting cleaning motivation with some helpful tips, home decor and organization videos. If this type of content keeps your interest, please consider subscribing. In today's video, I will be posting and giving you guys some helpful tips on how to get your home springtime ready. So if you are interested in this type of video, please keep on watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and also leave me a comment down below. So let's get this video started. <laughs> All right, to clean my blinds, I am going to use this little blind cleaner thing. It's like this microfiber um, cloth that's like, that'll fit for the blinds, I guess. I don't know. So I will do this every six months. I know on my channel, if you guys aren't new, you will see that I use my cordless vacuum. And I go through the blinds and just kind of clean that. That's an easy way to do it. But for like the spring and then like when like uh, summer's over, I will do like a deeper clean. And I do like to use this. It does take a while to do, you know, but I think it's definitely worth it and it does get your home nice and ready for springtime. So this is what I will be doing. So I'll just open my blinds up. Let me get that right there. So you guys can see. And of course I'm on the ladder. Be careful. And just one by one. And I'll hold it and I'll clean it like that. Again, it takes forever, but it's worth it. way too guys it does allow you to get the top and the bottom with so if you just use the vacuum you'll have to like vacuum it through and then turn it over to the other side and vacuum it on that side as well so you are kind of saving some time by not having to do that but this is pretty tedious on doing each and every blind yourself After I'm finished with the blinds, I'll clean the insides of my windows with the duster first just to loosen up any dirt or dust, then with my cleaner. I didn't show this part, but I'll also top it off with my glass cleaner for a perfect shine finish. Not only is cleaning your windows and blinds great for keeping your windows looking good for years, but avoiding dirty windows will prevent window damage and will protect your indoor air quality in your home. So I don't own a carpet cleaner and I refuse to purchase one because I would like to eventually switch out to all hardwood floors. So I'm using this Mr. Clean and water mix with a broom to sweep the carpet. This method will not clean on any stuck on carpet stains, but it does help with cleaning the carpet and it also gives a good fresh smell. Regular dusting is key to prevent any allergies and potential breathing problems, so dusting at least once a week is recommended. Keeping piles of dust on surfaces will cause your home to look and feel dirty and dingy. Love. 
can show you what I'm gonna do Alone, 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 alone with you, my love furniture also gets dusty and dirty no matter how little you use it so cleaning it not only keeps it looking its best but it also keeps the dust down and if you have any pets it also keeps the pet hair away Steam cleaning will help sanitize your furniture without using any harsh chemicals. The high temperature of the steam will also loosen and dissolve any dirt, which will brighten up your fabric colors. You will want to also vacuum thoroughly as you see me doing previously to remove all the loose dirt. Also, I'll be cleaning my bar stools and dining chairs as a part of my springtime deep clean. I'll be using the Woolite fabric cleaner, I think that's what it is, um, to clean the bar stools and chairs with. These chairs were so dirty. I think with them being like that fabric linen, um, it just makes it so hard to clean and it's so easy to see all the dirt and stains on them because they are so light. Taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. Looking at you, making your moves, staring. 
So another tedious but much needed task is cleaning your air vents. I did not realize how dirty this air vent was. I actually even forget that it's right there because the bar stool sits in front of it. So when I seen it, I was like, whoa, I did not realize how dirty it was. I guess you can also like unscrew it, but I didn't feel like doing that and I didn't know how to do it really. <laughs> so I just went with the rag and that wasn't working. So I used like a butter knife and I went through and it's like clean every um, little crevice or vent, whatever it was. And that made it much easier. You can see that there's so much dirt that's just lifting from this air vent. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just want to dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you want to stay the night. Time goes fast. I don't care. I've known you long enough. When we go, we lose track of time. You and I, we can stay inside. Time goes fast. I don't care. I've known you long enough. Yeah, I want to get there. I want to get there. Just take my hand. Yeah, I want to get there. I want to get there. Just in my mind. Yeah, I want to get there. I want to get there. Just take my hand. Yeah, I want to get there. I want to get there. Just in my mind. I felt for you. You made it easy for me. Yeah. Nothing that you could ever do would make me leave you, baby. I feel for you, you made it easy for me, yeah. Nothing that you, baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast, I don't care. I've known you long enough. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast. Making sure that we organize and declutter our junk drawers, I know everyone has them, is also a must. Getting rid of everything that we are no longer using, everything that's on that top counter, I actually had to throw away. I just did not use it. And I also wanted to show me going through my cleaning towels and rags and just throwing those out. It's also really important to go through and make sure that your cleaning rags and cloths are also in good shape. So I'm actually switching out my colorful ones, uh, which I really did love, but I found these at Marshalls. So I'm switching them out for all gray ones and I'm putting them in this drawer. I'm actually not going to keep them in this drawer because I'm going to put my Keurig over here. Y'all know I'm always changing some stuff around. But um, I did want to just show, you know, me putting some fresh new um, cleaning cloths in the drawer.
Dusting and shining your kitchen cabinets is also important when you're doing a deep clean in your home. I am using the Method Wood Cleaner and I used that throughout the video on all of my wood surfaces. And guys, my house is always so dusty, but you can see like the dust bunnies like flying all around in this video here. You can tell that I am definitely getting a really good clean throughout my house. On my countertops, I'm using the Everspring Granite Cleaner. I love the Everspring products. This granite cleaner is also helping keep my countertops clean, but also keeping them well shined. So these little flowers will be the only thing that screams like springtime um, in my house. I'm not really the type of person that likes to decorate for every season or even the holidays. I'm just not too big on it. Uh, I know it does look nice. I see a lot of houses that are decorated, but it's just not my style. Let me know how you guys like to decorate. Do you do for every season? You do like a whole change of decor or do you kind of like just to keep it simple and just have some hints of um, the seasons throughout your house and I wanted to change my Keurig for over here guys I want to so bad do a coffee bar but I just don't want to have all that stuff like piled up on my countertops so this right here is like the closest thing to a coffee bar that I'm gonna get you got that something baby can go without just like a poison in me you're all that i'm about having the highs on my the lows it's getting out of my control i want that something baby because i can go without mama used to tell me love it right if it ain't easy but i'm in too deep to walk away from you papa used to tell me love should never drive you crazy Cleaning in and around my trash can is something that I do incorporate in my cleaning routine regularly. But if you aren't, now is the perfect time to thoroughly clean your trash cans and the area it's in. I like to use some cleaner. Mr. Clean is my cleaner of choice, along with some steaming hot water. This will help lift any stuck on particles. While the trash cans are soaking, I will then go through the little drawer that it's in and clean that out. You'd be surprised how much dirt and food that has been left in these little drawers. Using this method heavy duty degreaser to clean my microwave and stove. I think this does so well with doing like a really nice deep clean on there because it like saves you so much time than having to like continuously scrub if you do have any like stuck on food stains. So I would definitely recommend this method uh, heavy duty degreaser to clean your microwave stove and any other appliances that you may have that has a lot of grease on there. So my stove isn't that bad, so I don't want to hear nobody saying, girl, your stove not even that dirty. It's not because I clean it often, but if you aren't or you just don't have time or whatever, you should definitely try to incorporate cleaning your stove and your oven often. That way you don't have to worry about um, vigorously scrubbing or doing a really deep clean, getting stuck on food things that's been there for so long off your oven. So save yourself some time by after each time, you know, you cook, just go ahead and wipe down your stove.
I really need to come up with like a really good method. I really want to make it look really cute underneath my uh, kitchen sink um, with all like the nice organization tools and everything like that. But in the meantime, you know, this works. But also too, when you're doing your spring clean or even just a deep clean for that matter, make sure that you're pulling your old products um, or products that you had not necessarily old but the products that you had before make sure that you're pulling those to the front and use all of those up before you start using some of your new um, scents and cleaners So you would think that your dishwasher would be clean automatically because you're putting the dirty dishes in there and then it's going through this like really hot cycle and cleaning your dishes. But if you really take a look at your dishwasher, you will see that it's kind of dirty. Well, mine's is anyway. I often notice like a lot of like stains or food stains that's on in my dishwasher. So you'll see me just kind of going through and wiping it down first. Then I'll use the CLR, um, lime remover or whatever it is and I'll put that in like a little small cup and put it on top and then I'll run a normal cycle it says to do and then once that cycle is over you want to just go ahead and do another cycle just to kind of rinse it all out. So giving my stainless steel a really high shine is also something that I like to do on a daily but also when I'm doing a deeper clean because it just makes everything look so nice and shiny. I know in my last video I was using the Perfect Stainless by The Hopes Company and y'all said I was using too much. I still don't like it. So I am going to be using my Weeman's um, stainless steel cleaner just to kind of shine and clean everything up. You also want to make sure that your rugs and kitchen mats are clean. I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of this one. So if yours is older like mine, you probably just best bet is just to go ahead and get rid of it. But making sure that it's really nice and clean is very important as well. First you'll just see me um, sweeping. I'll sweep underneath and then I'll sweep it on the other side and sweep that. And then I'll also just kind of wipe it down with the multi-surface cleaner.
really good clean on your curtains is also very important. You'd be surprised how much dust accumulates on those babies as well. I didn't feel like taking them off and putting them in the washing machine, but of course you can do that. I'm just going through with my vacuum and then I will go through with my steamer and just kind of sanitize it that way. And at the end of each clean, I do like to go through and sweep. I'll be mopping and then I also vacuumed in my living room area just to ensure that I've gotten up all the dust or anything that has fell on the floor while I was doing my other cleans. As this video comes to an end, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. But most importantly, I hope that you guys have found some really important tips to help you clean and get your home springtime ready. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give this video a happy thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below. And also, please, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And until next video, guys, bye bye